With anywhere from two to three feet of snow now blanketing not just the foothills but the valley floor, the battle against the drifts is getting pretty desperate in Ravalli County. And it's not just the problems right now, but what could be coming that has the county worried. Two years ago, we were standing outside the Corvallis Fire Station here as residents were frantically filling sandbags because of the flooding that happened up on Willow Creek. The county is worried that same scenario may develop, and this time around, there's more snow. We've been talking to some of our partners, trying to set up some coordination as to, you know, if we have a, a big increase in temperatures, uh, you know, let's get together and get some planning going for how we're going to help the community uh, you know, survive this, this melt off and potential flood. In the past, that sudden melt off and flooding has impacted just about every corner of the Bitterroot. Two years ago, it was the Corvallis area with creeks overflowing their banks and ice endangering roads and bridges. But it was exactly five years ago, coming off the record February snows in 2014, that a sudden warm up combined with heavy rains inundated neighborhoods in the eight mile drainage east of Florence. The problem is, the later in the winter we get a big snow, the more likely it could be followed by a spike in temperatures and rain. It's a time of year that we could either have real low temperatures or it wouldn't be uncommon to see temperatures, you know, in the 50s and 60s. So that's what we're kind of hoping doesn't happen. We sure like to see kind of a slow warm up. The county's advice is for property owners to review what they learned from those past incidents and make what preparations they can. Well, emergency services can't control where the water goes. We can just help, you know, kind of mitigate some of the issues. So if you were dealing with that a couple years ago, chances are if we have a warm up, you're going to be seeing the same type of effects. In Ravalli County, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.